Oh, hey, hello, everybody. Xandre here, and since it's it's Easter, I have decided to take a little break from mainstream media and get back to some roots. And as y'all might remember, well, the two or three of you that actually watched the series, I used to play uh, mini flash games, which, for example, is Royal Revolt. Not Royal Revolt. Royal Envoy. Sorry. Well, this is the second part. I have the third part. And I would like to get back into it. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Once upon a time, <laughs> the king called all the governors of the kingdom to gather in the palace. But not everyone arrived on time. And due to this fact, the revenue to the treasury has been steadily increasing. Bravo, bravo. You are a true hero of the kingdom. It's all lost. It's too late. Help! Continue, gentlemen. Well then, who is next, please? Hurry! I must hurry! The meeting has already begun! Compared to the previous level, the happiness index of our good citizens has arisen by 10 full points. Excellent! Another hero of the kingdom! Dear, I hope I'm not too late. Uh, the balloon deflated, and the sea was so rough, uh, but never mind. All's well that ends well. Is something wrong? How could you come before us in such a state? You really must manage your affairs with greater finesse in the future. Should send me to sort him out. I could straighten his affairs right quick. No. We need someone courageous and resolute, handsome and noble, wise and... Hmm. You. You shall help the residents of Middleshire and return happiness and prosperity to their lands. Oh, yes, and bring Cedric along. It's obvious he's been missing the long-distance trips. I love the stories. Middleshire. The journey was long, but we have arrived at last. This is a big map, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this in episodes or just a long record session and then just split it up. Maybe, I have to see. Well, are we all ready? It's time to start. Of course we are. But how's it called again? That's all I know. Town planners need to know. Click to start. Welcome, you must be the latest city planners. Yup, development. Bravo, bravo. Couple of cabins. Okay, now. Houses. First of all, let's do rest. tutorials. We have two builders. So, a couple of cabins. Building is ready. Nice. So, I'm getting rent for each one of them. This is basically um, the great grandpa of Sims <laughs> because you just have to build houses, upgrade them, and manage them. Build five cabins. Certainly. Uh, and you have here your money, wood, food, and how many builders you can afford. Here you have your tasks. You have to. Finish them before time runs out, and if you get them enough, if you get uh, the tasks finished fast enough, you get three stars. That's three point, three points, and that's way better than not getting any points at all. <laughs> I actually miss this type of games. 
Not bad for a first try. Wait, thank you. Let's, let's go to the next town. Hmm, fir tree. Okay, f uh, the bridge is broken. We have to cut here. Okay, five workers, four more needed. You can actually hire workers, see, for 50 food. So I'm gonna go one, right two, away. three, All right. and right four. All right. Just because that's one task, so let's cut that. As you see there, that gets us wood. Ready and able. Oi! You bet. Cut everything down. We have one more. Three hundred wood. I need three hundred wood to repair. Ready and able. Okay. So I can't cut anything Ready and able. there anymore. Perfect, let's repair this and then we shall continue cutting down the forest. Because hey, why not, right? And done. The bridge is ready. Bridge is ready, don't really care to be honest. Let's see, a cabin costs 25 wood, so we can make quite a few. Ready and able. Okay. I need one more worker, huh? Hmm. Back to work. Okay, he's done. All finished. I need a thousand five hundred gold. Okay, so money-wise, we just have to wait at this point. All finished. And let's chop all the trees down, because why not? You can actually upgrade. So I would suggest doing Ready that, since we have enough trees, enough wood. More work! Yeah, more work. The more upgrades you have, the more money the houses give you. I live there. Like, in every game. <laughs> And we're almost finished. 1,300, 1,500. We are done. Awesome. Oh, I actually missed this game. It's really great. It's just... Oh. We have to build a sawmill now. Okay, the bridge is out. Fancy that. Can't upgrade because I don't have any wood. You bet. So start chopping. 150. It's not that uh, much. Yes. Like for starters, it's fairly decent, I would say. Like these games were always a bit fidgety. Uh, Certainly. You couldn't actually expect too much. The repair. It's not. Too expensive. This is 150. Oh, wait a minute. Sawmill. Oh, yeah, right. Then the sawmill makes makes lumber. Makes planks. I forgot about that. I actually forgot about that one. So there's 25. I can upgrade them all. You upgrade that one and see. 2500. 1000. Right? See, with a thousand, I can get, I can already get some wood. A hundred wood. And this costs 150. Great. Yeah, let's get a bit more. I don't think that would be a make too big of a problem. 150, and we have 125. Awesome. Now. To upgrade the houses, there's no way to upgrade them anymore. Five upgraded cabins. One, two, three, four, five. 
We have berries now. Oh, that's food. This is. You bet. The game is a bit different, to be honest, from the first version. I actually like it. It it you didn't have now, these. Um, you go. You come and cut the woods. Don't chicken out now. So let's see cabins. Ah, I don't know. Yes. Come on, come on. Okay, so I can build another one. Construction complete. And upgrade, of course. Two more to go and 500 wood. That could work. I didn't know. I don't know why. I, why I did that? Piece of cake. Okay, you come over here. Upgrade it. This is basically everything that you Not have to do, just rest. micromanage. Micromanage? Just manage. Yeah. So, 500 wood from that. Certainly. Are we gonna get the three stars? Are we? It's gonna be a thousand. Aye. Yeah, I'm not really sure if I wanna get a three star, to be honest. We are not gonna get three stars. We did! We did! Amazing! Awesome! That's awesome. Three, you can actually speed run through the first... Through the first few levels. You can... I'm not gonna read all the... Oh my god, the bridge is broken! Came the road through me within direct. You can read the bubbles if you want. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a little pause. Be in between the bubbles. We have to go through a cave. Okay. Why should give that? I was gonna say someone actually lives in the cave. A bit indirect, he says. Why, this is nothing less than a maze. Let's hope we make it out before too long. Okay, now. Um, okay, so. Um, there's only one guy. Right? Ah, uh, yes. Really? Okay, so we have taken an alternative route. To save that one as well. God damn it! Piece of cake. Oh, piece of cake my ass. Hi, you son of a bitch. Okay, you guys start cutting. Not a moment's rest. Start cutting, <laughs> I wanted to say. Yeah, apparently only you have. Oh my god, dude. Not a moment's rest. <sighs> so that's the only way then, huh? Certainly. Apparently. Here's another one. Here's another one. Certainly. Here's another one, and we're at the exit already. Ah, Almost yes. ready. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. And we're out just in the nick of time to get three stars. And that, <laughs> that one was blocked. Look, you actually have the, the little map here telling you. Where to go? I didn't see that. God damn it. So can we fix the bridge then? Too bad I didn't bring the wig with the insulated line. <laughs> God damn it. They had wigs for everything. Arctic Circle. Okay. 